We're straight back in it and we are up against it. Welcome back, by the way, to this episode of our Southend United career. 66 overall on our managerial rating. It's not looking good at all. We didn't manage to get any profit or nothing. I think we actually ended up having a loss from the transfer window, which really wasn't good. That hasn't helped us. Everything else isn't too bad. Maybe the league position as well. We're currently sitting in 14th. But when we look at that table... If we go up to the playoffs, they're on 20 points. That's 10 points in front of us. And relegation is only three points behind us. We've got a lot on our plate today. We're going to get through another load of games and we'll see what we can do. First of all, though, we're just having a very, very quick assessment of our games for today. We start off with a game against Preston, then some tough ones, Watford, Sunderland. And the games just continue on coming. Nottingham Forest later on, Middlesbrough. They're all going to be really big games. And in there, there's just tons obviously we're just not that good a rating which is why every team seems pretty hard but i haven't figured out what games i'm going to play yet today most likely this watford one after that i really don't know we've actually just gone a load of days already and this has already led us up to our next youth report or scout report however we want to call it and as always we're just getting rid of the guys that aren't good enough so i'm afraid ethan price you do not make the cut sean clark how Ever. What position is he? I don't actually know. Could play centre-back by the looks of it. Up to 92 potential, which is very promising. He's only 15 though, so he obviously won't be in our team for a good period of time. Anybody else? Dylan Hughes, possibly. But not so sure at the moment. So we're going to bring up Sean Clark. We're also going to sign Nicholas Morris. And they'll be joining up with our squad. First game up though, we all know we're up against... Preston North End, we're at home. We really would appreciate getting off to a solid start today. Nothing's happened as of yet. We're going to skip now, just as Foden had scored. And that is a great start to the day. Simon Cox came on for Enketia, but other than that, a relatively comfortable victory. We've just done a training session. We have a matter of days until our next game, which is up against Watford. I don't know if we're home or away, but in the league, you can see there, they are just in fact, tied with us and only one point above us. So they're obviously going to be extremely good because they've been relegated from the Premiership. I don't know if that team's going to be in a state to play. I'm going to go ahead and say not. And whether I rest players or not was probably going to ride on how soon the game was after. And that game is up against Sunderland. And it's only a couple of days. So we need to kind of make a priority here. What one are we going for? I'm going to say the Sunderland game and then I'll play this one and just rest a few of our key players. We've got our team selection. We really have turned the team upside down. Every single player has been swapped out except for Demetrio, Willock and Smith. They're the only ones that are staying in the team. Our guys are on the bench in case we need them. I am actually going to swap one more player around and that will be possibly right. I don't think there's anyone else that I want to put on there. In fact, I'm going to put Carter on there. He may have some potential. We never know. We'll chuck him on instead of John White. If we get an injured defender, Ben Coke is going to have to cover at centre back. But that is our team. We're starting off. We're away from home. We've got Watford. It's going to be a tough one. It's a good cross. Let's get this out. Okay, they've controlled it straight away. We did manage to top it out though. It could have been a really awful start. Tim Lin out there. Let's get a 1-2 off with McGlashan. He can definitely outpace all these defenders. We're already in behind. This should open up for us as well. We could have passed it across the goal. Ah, oh, the keeper, Gomez. Just saved the day. Head that out. Oh, Joe Willock. What are you doing, man? Oh, come on. Let's get that out of the box. Get that gap through the gap. McLaughlin. Let's cut back. Get the shot off. We beat the man. We beat the keeper. The scoreline. 1-0. Oh, okay. We played it straight back to him. That's through the middle. Deeney, this has got to be a goal. one all. Oh, our midfield and defence opened right up there. Okay, McLaughlin through this gap here. Can we get Wordsworth back? No, but McGlashan is there. Dimitri is on the overlap with no support. However, the opportunity is there. Oh, I thought that was opening up. Wouldn't say we're a free kick specialist team. We'll have to play it short. Get it there. Get the shot off with McLaughlin. Easy save for Gomez. I see McGlashan. He's on the run. We've beaten the man. Oh, we're out on an edge, though. We'll cut back. Get the shot off. That seemed to work last time. Nearly worked again. Mm, Simon Cox off the post. 
Straight through here. Don't go to his man, which it has. Come on. <gasps> McLaughlin. McLaughlin. We'll cut back underneath. We'll play the finesse. We'll score. I was tempted to wait for McLashen, but I decided against it, and it paid off. Oh, Takure. Oh, I was just saying about how it would be good to keep the score. It wasn't even to cure out success. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mariapa, of all players. Why are you there? Through there to Alfie Carter. Through to Nelson, who's just come on. Let's go. Nelson's just come on. Carter with the assist in his first game. Oh, let's go. We need to make the interception. Before they do that and score another one. And make it 4-3. Oh, no. Mariapa. Okay, we've got that. We've got that. Oh, full-time whistle. Could have been on the counter. Ah, oh, we lost. That's not good. It's practically like a premiership team up against a League One standard team. And we only lost by one goal. Mm. We should have been so much better in that game. Like, I can't even explain it. All I can say is we just have to hope that this now comes off and we get a result here. Otherwise, us saving players won't even make a difference. You saw the impact that Nelson had when he came on. Same with even Carter as well. We're going to skip now. And we lost again. Ah, oh, we may well be in relegation now. Okay, we're not in relegation, but it's not looking great. We're sitting in 15th. We're two points above the drop zone. Nowhere near playoffs. We know that that isn't happening. We've just got to aim for this mid-table area and just stick it out there. We do find ourselves in another training session. Alpha Carter, we're going to work on him. He's already up to a 53. So that's a nice little bit of progress. Everyone else is doing pretty well. In fact, Carter's... Let's say about a quarter of the way to 54. So he's getting there. Our youth squad monthly report has just come in. And if we take another look at our players, Sean Clark between 71 and 91 at least. He's only a 49 currently. He's 15, so we can't do much there. Nicholas Morris can go between a 68 and an 88. That's also very good. He is only 15. Mason Turner between a 70 and an 82. Not ideal. But not too bad. We'll keep him there for the moment. But you may just be sitting there for a while. Alfie Cooper. Our other Alfie in the team. 78 and 92 rated left back. He's the man. He's going to be coming straight up into the team. Probably Henry Lee as well. I think we can sign him up as soon as they turn 16. So I'm going to go ahead and say that is at the end of the season. Otherwise, I don't really know. Maybe they do just have birthdays. Who would have thought they'd have birthdays rather than it ticking over the end of the season? We're still not doing great. Our manager rating it really is a struggle. We've got Reading next. Where are they in the league? I really don't know. That in ninth. So another tough one. Another game. Another away day. It's Reading. At the moment, our confidence must be just on the way down. I'm expecting a defeat here. We skip, and we got a win. That's massive. My guys on the board, they just keep on kind of prodding me, letting me know that we're not on track. Another email, basically just saying the exact same thing. It's not looking great. Our rating's gone up to a 68, which is a little bit better. I don't know who we've got next, but we'll find out soon. Our next few games that we got are Brentford, Middlesbrough, and Nottingham Forest. I can see Middlesbrough in third. That's a big one. Brentford are actually in fifth as well, and Nottingham Forest are in 23rd. So, we're going to skip this game against Brentford. I think we shall play the one against Middlesbrough because it's going to be incredibly hard and we will skip the one against Nottingham Forest. So, with that, we will get straight into it. We're all good for fitness at the moment. After that result against Reading, we should be on a bit of a high. You know, we beat a team in promotion away from home as well. As you can see, Brentford even drew against Reading previously. So, we'll skip on around the 20th minute, see what happens. Another win. Two wins in a row. It's looking good. 
We've all of a sudden magically appeared on our team selection. We're here, we're playing against Middlesbrough. McGlashan said he would like to play in this game. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for that. I think I might just sub him on later on in the game. McLaughlin hasn't actually said anything, but he's been playing really well. He's at 65. I think that's a slight improvement on his rating. He's nearly up there with Kitely. I was tempted to bring Kitely back into the midfield because he has played there previously. Because Foden hasn't always been the best in these games. But for the moment, I think I will stick with this. I don't know why I've still got John White there. I think he... Oh, that's it, because Keenan's out injured. I forgot about that. In fact, that's actually quite impressive that we've been winning these games, even with a centre-back who's only a 64-rated player. But I think, like I said, this is our team. This is what we're going to rock and roll with. We may as well just get straight into it and see how it plays out. Come on, come on. What? Change player. Okay, Foden and Willock working well together. And Ketia. Now we can release Nelson. This should ideally be 1-0. And ideally, it is now 1-0. We have the lead. This did happen against Watford though, so we've got to be careful. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Kitely. Good defending by uh, Ayala, if I can pronounce that correct. See how far we can go with Nelson here. Cuts back in, makes some space. Oh, oh! did you see that? Of course you saw it, but 2-0. Reese Nelson, that man again. Where are we going? Oh, look at the ball. Straight after half time, Anthony Wordsworth. We're playing fantastic all of a sudden. This, I honestly do not know. Wordsworth with a long range shot. Oh, I was going to say, does he have it in his locker? But clearly he does. There we go, there we go. Through that gap. Hello. What can I say? Magical. The football we're playing is just magical today. Nketiah's got the pace advantage on Ayala. Okay, we managed to get that through. Wordsworth's just going to run and score. That makes it 5-0. His second of the day as well. Surely that's the end. Five of the best, as they always say. 5-0 against Middlesbrough. I think that also makes it three wins in a row for us in the league, which is insane. We're really turning it around. With that game out of the way, we've got a few more today. I think we've got Nottingham Forest and there's QPR, and I'm not sure who else. We'll get through a few more matches, like I said earlier on in the episode. And we're going to have a very, very busy winter period coming up. But at least we're heading into it at... A pretty decent level. We're in 11th. We're on 22 points. We've got a nice bit of a buffer now of around 9 points behind us to uh, relegation, if I can get that right. And then in front of us, all of a sudden, the playoffs, let's, dare I say, are achievable. They're 5 points in front of us. We'll just skip a few days and then we'll get straight into the match. Here we are. We do have a monthly scout report on the way. It did come in before, but we'll get to that straight after this one. This is where our attention is at. An instant yellow card for Ben Coco. We're away from home. They're not doing very well themselves, so I'd hope that we could get a result here. But knowing our luck, we'll do really well. Smash Middlesbrough like we did, and then we'll go and lose here. Reese Nelson is injured. That is not good. Okay, we're going to skip in three, two, one. And it was a one-all draw. The one thing I was worried about on this career mode was Reese Nelson getting injured. I was actually about to bring it up myself, and the timing is not good, and that is not what I wanted to see. Reese Nelson's out for three months. That whole winter period I was just talking about, he's gone. He's out, and we don't have anybody that's anywhere near his rating, so that is a real issue. We were doing a away game and it has come. We're away at QPR, the second game of the post Reese Nelson era, only due to an injury, of course. And we're just going to skip really quickly today, now, and a 1 0 victory. That is great. It wasn't even because I had that player sent off, he got sent off late on in the game, so we definitely deserve that. One more match for today's episode. We're finishing off up against Leeds United. We're back at home. We are nearly 
at the Christmas Boxing Day period, 15th of December. We shall skip just about now. Another victory. That's 2-1. We've made great progress today. Who would have thought we would have been here sitting in ninth at the end of last episode? But it's all good. We've turned it around. It's looking promising for us. And we seem to be doing well without Reese Nelson too. So what more can I say? If you enjoyed today's video, hit like. If you're new around here, subscribe. And as always, guys, I will see you all next time.